Mm. Thank you, thank you. When you make a play like you did at the end of that game, does time okay. speed up or slow down for you in that spot? <laughs> it slowed down for sure. It felt like that play took about five, seven seconds just from me catching the ball, running two yards, and then being pushed into the end zone. It felt like I was like in that play, it was slow motion. I was standing up there being pushed for five seconds when it was hindsight, probably like two, three seconds. I don't even know if it was that long. But uh, yeah, that was the most tiring play of the game for me. Jack, when you made that interception, you came inside on a rush and then really were almost spying and seeing what Justin Fields was going to do. Uh, can you just talk about your reaction to that and catching that one-handed pass? Uh, well, I appreciate what you said because your memory was better than my memory right now. I, don't remember, I just remember going inside a little bit, seeing the ball come. And, but, uh, yeah, I guess I was rushing inside, like you said, and then... <laughs> and then I felt the flow of the offense go to the left a little bit, so I slid a couple steps to the left, and I saw the ball coming. And I just uh, put my hand up, made the catch. So 58 right in front of me, so I figured I got to go inside or outside of him to get in the end zone. I couldn't be denied, though. It was three yards. I got to find a way to get in there. And uh, my teammates came to uh, rally behind me, helped me get in the end zone. But it was uh, just a great way to end the game. Offense did it for us last week, and it's our time to uh, return a favor. Back for you, a pick six, another sack, <laughs> and Achilles. Just what does that do, you know, for you to say, okay, I'm still, I'm still back. I'm making these plays again. Yeah, it felt good to uh, just be back on the playmaking side of things. I know even if I was making plays, just like all the work I put in the off season, doing uh, rehab and all that, felt good. And I knew I was back, even though if the plays like last week didn't. Like exactly, yeah. Say that I, uh, I'm back, but I felt that I was back for a while now, and it's just good to get them plays, them game changing plays, like I'm accustomed to to affirm that. So it just thanks my uh, thank my coaches for putting me in the right position, my teammates for being there for me, and uh, like yeah, it just feel good. We'd be remiss if, if we didn't mention, you know, you've dedicated the season, obviously, to your daughter and all that. There's an emotional moment, you and Jason, maybe more so for Jason than you. You were tired. But, like, we have games like this. I mean, I know your, your whole life was, was turned upside down and still is, but what does it mean to, to be able to put, put that, you know, for your family, for yourself, and, and all that you've been through? No, it most definitely feels good. Uh, I, I always play for my family already, but then having, like, that extra incentive and making me want to go a little harder for is it never stops sucking. It's always going to suck. But like, at least I'm able to uh, be able to shine some spotlight on a little bit. Camera was on me after I made the play. I told her, love you, miss you, wish you was here. And so it's, it's, I'm glad I'm able to still get some uh, spotlight for her and to the Lord above because he's the reason why we're here right now. And then just trusting his plan and no matter what it is, it works for good. So I'm just trusting that, and I'm uh, just, just just going through every day, trusting that and believing that. I mean, like, just considering everything you've been through um, physically and then emotionally, like, I mean, when you have those kinds of moments like that, I mean, is, do, you, do you almost feel like it is like a little bit of your mind and the dimension when you go out there and, and you get to play such a big role in it? And a game that, that has taken on maybe even more meaning for you this year because of, of what you've been dealing with. Oh, yeah, I believe so for sure. And then uh, just like just talking, like talking to God all the time. I just know he don't give us nothing more than we ha than we can handle, even though it felt like he did for sure. But uh, he, he said he just setting this up for something. Can't say better because I don't know what can be better than having my baby girl here. But he's setting us up for something that's a. Uh, that, that we need, and I'm uh, I'm just ready for it, and I'm waiting for it, and I'm going to believe in him and believe in his plan for sure. And I do feel like, oh, yeah, it was divine intervention to be able to uh, just just get that spotlight for my baby girl. Is your family here what today, and how are they doing? Yeah, yeah, they uh, were here. They're gone now. They was going to wait after the game, but I told them it might be a little while, <laughs> and it's kind of hot out there. But they uh, they doing good. They uh, had my son had his first, not his first football game, but his third football game last yesterday. They won. I helped coach it. Feel good to uh, coach the youth and get back, man. I learned from foot foot over there coaching the youth like he coached us. It'd be funny saying foot out there coaching. But uh, yeah, yeah, my kids and family doing good. Hey, Jack, can you talk about about your teammates Joe trying showing you with a pair of sacks today? Vita coming in, mm -hmm. Cam Gale, it just seemed like whoever. 
was out there was getting to Justin Fields today. Yeah, I think a lot of that goes to the the work we've been doing, and a lot of that like at the, as a front, and a lot of it goes to the back end. Them boys was locking up back there, like it couldn't have been nobody throw the ball to because he was holding it for so long, giving us a chance to get there. So the rush and the uh, coverage was working together right there, and I'm I'm just glad to see everybody been able to eat because we got a lot of great guys on this team, a lot of good pass rushers, and uh, be able to rotate like that, stay fresh. Cam get in, Joe get in. Well, Cam get a sack, Joe get a sack, Vita get a sack, I get a sack. Like, who oh, I'm missing? That's everybody, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got there. Yeah, half yeah. sack. Yeah, 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 too. So it's just, yeah, it's feel good to see everybody uh, been able to get some recognition for all the work that we've been putting in so far. Okay. Shaq, can you speak on your faith and how it's really helped you uh, kind of deal with this process and give them some encouraging words to others who might be seeking some faith as well? Yes. Uh, so my faith never really wavered, going wavered, going through the situation. I know sometimes people in situations, tough situations, that faith waver, but I needed them more now or then or still now than I needed them ever. And that was the only way that me and my family was going to be able to make it through by leaning on each other and trusting on, trusting in the Lord. So uh, just, just talking to each other, worship, music, uh, church, prayer, all the prayers from everybody that's been praying for us. Like we was actually able to feel like the power of prayer for sure, able to uh, just help get some of the little cloudy, rainy days off us. And uh, like literally last week I was, before the game I was struggling last week. And then like I, I like struggling real bad. Like I couldn't stop crying, <laughs> calling my wife, calling my coach just uh, checked in on me. But uh, like then out of the blue, like everything just went away and I was able to focus on a game. and. Everybody was like, my wife was asking people to pray for me, they prayed for me. So I actually felt like the wave of emotions just slide like to the side and I was able to actually focus, actually able to focus. So like I, I was able to feel the power of prayer. I'm catching a cramp a little bit. Thank you. Thank you.